Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is May 29th. It is Monday, 2023. Uh, another absolutely gorgeous day here. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I was going to show you here. Uh, Rob, one of the guys in my group, brought this up for me. And uh, it's a wheel lock. So I'll bring my motorcycle up onto the deck. You drive it in there and it locks your wheel um, in and then you have your straps uh, that you put over there. Now the straps um, themselves, my neighbor gave me the straps. Uh, he helped me actually put that on because uh, he's got all the tools and all that. I mean most of my tools are now in West Virginia so uh, I didn't have the drill or anything like that so uh, he gave me a hand with that. Uh, it's my neighbor Kurt and so gonna get the motorcycle on here I don't know if I'm gonna put anything else on the trailer or not I really haven't decided yet uh, I was actually thinking that I might but see I don't want it to bang into the bike so I was actually thinking of taking this down uh, with me when I go because when I do set up for chickens I think this would be a really cool thing to have so I haven't decided yet exactly what I'm going to do with that. Um, if that's going to come down now or another trip, I don't know. I really don't want anything banging into the bike. So uh, I already have the back of the truck is loaded. And I uh, took a bunch of stuff out of the shop. A bunch of stuff out of my room. <laughs> I will show you. I will show you one thing that I, that I brought. That I'm taking back down to... West Virginia my uh, bug out backpack uh, I've had that up in the loft here and I'm like well that ain't doing no good there so I grabbed that uh, uh, those here that you see there are incubators so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the eggs from the homestead here uh, obviously fertilized eggs with the rooster and all that and I'm going to take those, and I'm going to take, uh, I can do two dozen uh, eggs, and I'm going to try to, uh, you know, see if we can't uh, get a couple uh, dozen chickens out of that. I think that'll be fun. Uh, I want to show you, Becky and uh, Rick have been moving and grooving here. So they, uh, this metal grate... All right, that was here when I bought the uh, place. The people that had it were using it as a fire pit. Uh, you can't pick it up, but you can roll it. And so uh, Rick wanted to uh, make, you know, a nice fire pit area, as you can see. He raked it all up here, and uh, all the excess wood that still needs to be burned is in the center. He put rocks. We have plenty of rocks. We're never going to run out of rocks here. Uh, they keep coming up really, really well. <laughs> So, uh, but, so they did that, and then, uh, now if you guys remember, uh, this was actually like an outdoor, um, little fire thing. I, I never got to use it, and, uh, it's just unbelievably heavy, so Becky said, hey, can I take that and use it to plant flowers and stuff? Now there's, they got transplant shock, that's why they look like they're crappy right now, but they'll they'll bounce back so uh, I said yeah go ahead so they brought it out here and uh, so that's what she did with that and uh, but yeah so that's uh, like I said just another gorgeous day here uh, I talked to Steve down in West Virginia and it's raining <laughs> pretty heavily so uh, yeah so I'm probably gonna head out tomorrow is uh, probably the game plan not 100% sure when yet, but I'm just trying to, I want to get everything ready. So when I do leave, it's a matter of, you know, taking that last shower, uh, getting in the truck and heading out the door. So, uh, and it's really hot today. <laughs> so it's quite warm trying to do this, but I figured, well, I'm going to get sweaty and dirty. I'll do it now. Uh, when I get done with this video, I'm going to get the bike, uh, bring the bike over and get that in the trailer. But, uh, so that's it, uh, you know, just, uh, it's been a, a nice visit here at home. Uh, I, with the stuff that I took today, 
that I have in the back of the truck in the back of the, you know, in the, uh, I still have more stuff to pack into the front of the truck. And it's not even a dent. And you think of all the loads of stuff that I've brought back and forth, you know, it's just it's crazy uh, how much stuff uh, I have. <laughs> just like, oh my God. And the best part is when I get down, I'm not sure where I'm going to put all this stuff. That's, that's even better. So, but, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, but each trip that I come up here is not going to be a wasted trip. Uh, you know, like I said, I probably won't come back up here to the fall uh, to see everybody again. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make another trip and, uh, you know, load up again. I don't know if I'll bring the trailer next time. Uh, I'll give you an example. On the way up, and I can't wait to see what it is on the way back, but on the way up, uh, I was, uh, now normally I get about 18 miles at a gallon with a truck, okay? On the way up with just pulling the trailer, empty, nothing in the back of the truck, you know, none of that stuff, uh, I was getting 13. So I am anticipating uh, being around 11 miles a gallon on the way back. So we'll have to see. Uh, I don't know um, exactly what it's going to be, but uh, it's a long trip. And uh, I always have the same places that I stop for gas. I may have to stop sooner. Uh, again, I don't know. Um, I don't know. So we will have to see. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to take the, obviously take the bike back with me. And I'll have it down in West Virginia. So slow and steady. Slow and steady. We're going to get it done. Uh, I said, just going to take some time, and uh, we're going to we're going to get there. What I might do, actually, I'm, what I'm now I'm thinking about it here. If I have the bike in the center, I could line the sides with five-gallon buckets, and they're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to fly out, you know. Um, so I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably do another video and show you everything all loaded up but uh, I might just just take the bike back there I really don't want anything slamming uh, into the bike and if I do put uh, those buckets in there I'd have to uh, tie them off around so that they didn't move or shift so that actually wouldn't be that difficult so I don't know maybe we'll see it'd be a good way to get some more buckets out of here so <laughs> anyway that's what we got folks uh, just trying to prepare get things ready get things squared away uh, you know it's beautiful today it was beautiful yesterday and uh, just trying to take care of business but uh, trying to get ready uh, be ready for the trip to go back south and uh, trying to make sure I don't forget anything <laughs> uh, so anyway uh, I am going to jump off for now I just want to give you a quick update and uh, you know, let you know I was packing up, getting ready to roll. And I think I will do the bucket thing, though. I think that might be a good idea. Because that'll be just more, it's a great area to utilize. And I can just tie the buckets up to the sides. Yeah, I probably will. Anyway, guys, remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really, really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. All right. Have a great day, everyone. I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.